Um, I'm from Tim Schutzbecht from the University of Applied Sciences in Offenburg, yes. in Germany. And yeah, we have here our new uh, urban concept uh, car with the innovative Sterling engine inside. And, yeah. and I'm going to show people what a Sterling engine yeah, exactly. looks like on on the outside. We see this. Yeah, but what you see here is not uh, the Sterling engine. It's not engine the itself. Engine. It's the burning chamber. Yes. Um, because the engine is working, you have two pistons inside, and uh, one piston is a displacement piston, and the other piston is the working piston. And the displacement piston is uh, heated up by this burning chamber, because you have no internal combustion like in an auto engine or diesel engine. You have an, an external combustion. It means um, yeah, you can use any heat source. You can use solar thermal uh, energy from, from the solar rays. You can use uh, wood, you can use diesel, you can use any, any type of fuel. You can even use biomass. So it's, um, yeah, it's, it's it, a new it, style to, to, uh, to drive a car. And it is really the temperature, the difference in temperature that, exactly. that moves the engine. Exactly. That moves the you have on the upper side, uh, the engine is heated up. And on the bottom, we have the fuel. You can see the fans. And uh, there, the engine is cooled down. And due to this um, um, pressure uh, difference, the engine is working. You used ethanol, is that right? Or yeah. did you use ethanol? Here at the Shinnecom Motor, we are using ethanol. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And we are using this engine as a hybrid. That means we are using this engine as a stationary engine. Um, we have two self-developed wheel hub engines. One of them is here. Yeah, you can see it now. Uh -huh. It's here in, in the rear rim. And the other one we are using is generator. That means that the Sterling engine drives the generator, uh, which is producing energy, electric energy. And this electric energy is stored in a super cap. A in a super capacitor. Yeah, a super capacitor. And from this capacitor, we are using the energy for our wheel engine. Do you think that this kind of engine has potential uh, for for vehicles today? What's what would yes. be the advantage of? Yes, I think um, that we have potential because um, you can use any type of fuel. Yes. And if you think in the future, um, the oil is uh, depleting, right. and yeah, therefore we have to to look for other possibilities to drive a car. Right. And but I have to say, it makes only sense. Um, a system which we use yes. because uh, this, this engine only uses as a stationary engine. That's a disadvantage of the Sterling engine because the dynamic is not very good with the Sterling engine. Right. Because if you think uh, you have to heat up everything if you want to increase yes. and it can take uh, half an hour for example. <laughs> to, to heat up. <laughs> to heat up, yeah. And, and the same principle by cooling down. Right, right. And therefore, you can't accelerate and decelerate very fast. Right. But if you use it as a hybrid, a stationary engine, then you can do it, yes. Excellent, excellent. Well, thank you.